So earlier this month, the World Health Organization declared the recent monkeypox outbreak as a global health emergency. Right now, as you know, there are more than 16,000 reported cases of monkeypox within 75 countries and territories. Now, we know that monkeypox has a current low fatality rate only between 3 to 6%. However, it is still best to avoid getting it. So what then should we do to prevent getting infected with monkeypox disease? Let's watch this. On July 23, 2022, the World Health Organization announced that the recent monkeypox outbreak is already considered as a public health emergency of global concern. Now, this stems from the current monkeypox outbreak growing to more than 16,000 reported cases within 35 countries and territories, along with five deaths. Monkeypox, as we know, is a zoonotic disease wherein the virus is transferred from an infected animal to humans. Once a human is infected with monkeypox, he can then transfer the virus to another human through various ways. And this includes respiratory droplets during prolonged face-to-face -face contact. Second, intimate physical contact, including kissing and sexual intercourse. And third, directly touching the infectious rush or body fluids of an infected person and touching, clothing, bedding, and other materials that have been in contact with an infected person's rush or body fluids. Now, recently, the New England Journal of Medicine did a publication on monkeypox, showing that if you look at the demographics of the disease, 98% of the persons with monkeypox occurred within bisexual men or gay men, and that 95% of monkeypox cases occurred through sexual contact. However, we have to be very cautious because it does not mean that the virus can only be contacted via sexual intercourse because it can also be transmitted through respiratory droplets. So if you happen to be exposed to an infected individual, the incubation period before you begin to show symptoms would be around 5 to 21 days. Usually the person will experience a very similar uh, symptoms but lesser in degree to that of small packs. Some will probably develop fever, headaches, back pain, swollen lymph nodes, muscle aches, and low energy for approximately the first five days. Then, after those days, you will see a rash, usually resembles like pimples that can appear in as many parts of the body, including the face, the palms of the hand, the soles of the feet, the chest, inside the mouth, including the genitalia. So overall, once the symptoms occur, they normally last between two to four weeks. What we also know that if you have prior smallpox vaccination, it may afford a patient milder illness. If evidence of prior smallpox vaccination can usually be found as a scar on the left upper arm. Now, very important for all to understand that vaccination alone may not work unless supported by other measures, including the capacity to early diagnosis and treatment. So to avoid getting monkeypox, here are some tips to prevent also the spread of monkeypox. We are advised we should avoid intimate and skin-to-skin -skin contact with a person who has a rash similar to that of monkeypox. It is best to avoid touching the beddings, clothing, or other materials 
that they have come in contact with a person with monkeypox lesions. It is best, just like COVID, that we should wash our hands frequently with soap and water. We have to remember that we are still in the era of COVID pandemic. It is therefore advisable that we continue to wear a mask, especially in crowded indoor spaces, since droplets can also be a mode of transmission of monkeypox virus. I hope this simple reminder can help you get informed. Again, this is Dr. Jerry Tan. Stay safe always. See you again soon.